Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Let's Go Fish and Sim. I'm gone for a little while, was dealing with some stuff. But now I am back in 2021. All right, so thank you so much for over a thousand subscribers. Really appreciate all the comments, all the likes, all the views. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much. So today I thought I'd just continue on uh, my little career I was doing here. We got Lake Nelson. It's a DLC lake. And uh, we got light clouds, afternoon, and we are fishing for bass. Now I'm telling you, uh, let me show you real quick what I am bringing so I don't waste time showing you during the 20 minute tournament. Got the Versa spinning uh, braid on all the rods and I'm gonna start with the Christy Craw Nat Natural Buzz Bait and the Shockwave Fishalicious. I'm gonna try to use that a bit more because it's a missile ba ba bait which is my sponsor so there you go. All right, let's get started. Now this lake is interesting guys because um, it's bass fishing but you get to pick the peg you're at. So right now I'm going to this bottom um, left corner peg and we're gonna try that. You join us here on the water today as the competitors are getting ready for the I start of this, this exciting bit, event. Some, uh, While some we good, wait for uh, the action to begin, let's take a look at the rules for today's tournament. I was getting some good stuff, man, so... So let's just see if I can just win it. Don't forget, if you hit uh, R2, you can walk faster when you're walking around. All right, and then you get to the peg. Let's do this. Uh, let's start with the Christy Craw. See if we see any bubbles or any bass jumping. Keep our ears peeled for those sounds. Pretty deep lake. Well, not super deep, but you know, 20 feet. Just gonna wait to around the 12 foot mark and um, start doing a retrieve with a bit of twitching. little rusty guys but here we go hopefully this turns out okay seeing bubbles over here so let's just go about 60% again gonna let it sink a bit that sink man I'm probably gonna switch to t top lures I hate waiting for it to sink during tournaments especially these lighter lures they take pretty long to sink you lose precious seconds but anyway there you go 10 feet I'm gonna try to twitch it Let's see if I can get a good twitch I've really been getting a good twitch here Switch it up, guys. It's weird because I caught when I was practicing. And it's not letting me switch out my rods. What's going on here? Okay, that's weird, that is pretty weird, but no big deal. I'll try this fish delicious. And see how much faster that one's sinking. So I'm just gonna reel this one in kinda slow.
one. There you go. Four strike. Not a big deal. Keep my rod high. Keep that light. This is a tiny little fish. My goodness. What is that? One pound. Pathetic. <laughs> but alright, so this, this lure is... We got one bite, so maybe we can get a second bite. And I kind of like that you can uh, retrieve this while it's still sinking. If you move real slow with it. So, gonna do two more casts with this and then switch to the top lure. Oh my, another poor strike, eh? Feels like a little guy again. Oh my gosh. It's all these baby bass. Alright. Let's go over here, close to these rocks here. One more cast over here. I saw a fish jump, so might as well. Might as well, might as well. There we go. Finally, perfect strike. Also feels like a little tiny guy. My goodness. I mean, we're catching them, but... But, I mean, at least everybody else doesn't seem like it's catching super big bass. Cause it's probably like a three-pounder. Two-pounder. Okay, so let's just switch it out. Let's switch it out, man. Let's try the my favorite... One of my favorite lures in the game here, the Black Plague. And let's just do what we did. Just go from like, you know, 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock or whatever. Unless you hear a fish jump, then you should probably aim there. Also check for bubbles, 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 no bubbles. Alright, let's try this general area. Got five casts with this one. I think we'll win the tournament. It's just a matter of uh, trying to get... Maybe I'll go for a swim bait next. Just to drive away those tiny bass. Yeah, you know what? I might actually... Imagine I lost this. That would be embarrassing. Get in here. Get in here. Alright, Smalley. You know, I haven't played this uh, much at all, though, since I got the DLC. But I did catch uh, an 8 pounder when I was practicing, so. And a 6 pounder and a 5 pounder, so I'm, I'm surprised I'm getting so many. so many little guys. There's a bigger one there. Oh. Alright, this is my last cast of this lore. Jump to my right, so 
I know I said it's the last cast, but sometimes, you know. Jumping fish tend to want to get those top lures, so. There you go. Tiny guy. Alright, we're switching to the big old swim bait. This is getting ridiculous. Crankbait's pretty good here, too, because of the depth. Alright, I'll try a swim bait and a crankbait. Okay, three pounds. There you go. Second place. Oh, crankbaits are right here, so you know what? I'll try the four inch uh, Sierra Sunset. Let's start the side of the lake. These are awesome because they get to the bottom of the lake pretty fast. Hopefully, ah, seems light. Oh no, he's big, nice. He's just not pulling the line very much. He's actually a decent size. I lower my drag a bit. More this guy. Okay. This will definitely put me in first place. Don't want to lose them, guys. Don't want to get too cocky with them. Yeah, he's a decent size, man. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's going to go one more time. Probably get tired soon. Fight. I'm being more conservative than I usually am, but just really don't want to lose this nice big fish I finally got. Oh lord. Man. He is putting up a fight. What the heck? Bass don't usually take this. This long. I gotta tell ya. There we go. Finally. Let's see what we have here. Wow. Goodness me. Look at that. Opry. Named fish. And look, they got Gar here too. That thing's beautiful. Look at that, guys. Opry. Wow. He's a big boy. 15 pounder. Nice, man. That was facing this side of the lake with the Sierra Sunset, man. Alright, let's try our luck over here. That puts us 10 pounds ahead of the second place. Mr. Burt. He's got no chance of catching up, guys. I think I was going pretty slow when I caught that guy. It was going at a one speed. Didn't expect to catch a name bass. 
during this little adventure, so that's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. Alright guys, I think for the last five minutes I'll give that swim bait a shot. Man, uh, you know, it's probably the longest fight I've ever had with a bass. No wonder it was a named fish. This is a cool looking guy. Alright. I don't know why I just can't switch between rods. I don't know. I don't think I can place a peg like... Like what I usually do. Alright, let's go with the. Let's go with the 5 inch roach. Kind of like how the sun is, go is going by, like, pretty cool dynamic weather there. We'll let her sink to around 12 feet. Then we'll bring her back on it too. Boom, all right. Well, this thing's like taking away the line. Doesn't even feel like a bass to be honest, guys. It's kind of weird. And now it's kind of feeling more like a bass. Could be another big fat one. I mean, that is a five inch bait, so I don't think little guys would go for that. Oh, it's not even that big. Yeah, maybe little guys do go for those baits. Ah, he's a decent medium sized one. Okay. See if we can catch one more guy. Ah, let's go right. Let's see. You could probably reel this back on start reeling this on a one too. It's heavy enough. Thinking on a two actually too, which 
It's, it's pretty good. And I think that's it. Well, another round one in the Discovery Open. Here in Texas, I believe. Yeah, four largemouth bass, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Caught an awesome trophy, trophy fish, named fish should say because sometimes trophies are just regular old fish unique fish opry oh last minute i was about to cancel that this guy's decent sized but tournament's over all right yeah opry 15 pounder man with the super deep sierra sunset and, well, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for joining me here in uh, Texas, <laughs> where we won uh, the Discovery there and got first place. It's great to be back, guys. I'll try to make more videos for 2021. Um, all right, perfect. Finish the season. You have finished all the available events. You can now start a new season. All right, perfect. Anyway, I'll go ahead and end the season, I guess. And uh, check it out. I was top 25 first in bass carp and predator i can now play pro so we'll probably do a pro career for the next videos just because amateur i think it's a bit too easy and then once i unlock elite maybe we'll try doing some of those anyway guys thanks so much guys check out the rest of the videos i'll leave some links in the description got some tutorials twitch tutorial bass tutorial carp tutorial Thanks for all the support. You guys are awesome. Have a great day.